Now, um, whenever you're on a layer that has a layer mask, you're going to see it in your channels panel, but the type will be italicized. It's, it's I kind of like call it a phantom layer. Later on, I'll show you how to edit with it, but right now we're gonna edit with layer mask and quick mask. When you go to a layer that doesn't have a layer mask on it, it disappears. An alpha channel won't disappear. So I'm gonna show you how to do an alpha channel now by giving her glasses. First, I'm going to go to the Marquee Tool and get the Elliptical Marquee Tool. I'm going to put a round rim around her right eye. Now, I want her glasses to be the same size, and I think this is a little too um, egg-shaped, so I'm going to go under Select, Transform Selection, and I'm just going to bring it down a little bit here and a little up here and then hit return or, or enter on the PC. So now I have marching ants around the right eye. So now, now I'm going to go to select, save selection, right rim. I'm just shorthanding it here. Now watch the layer in the channels panel. Okay, there's the rim. This is what it looks like. That won't go away when I go on the sky. See, the rim stays. When I go here, that phantom mask is there, which is fine. We only need the one because remember, when you are in a selection tool, you can use the move selection tool. And if you look at it closely, it's a white arrow with a little square. If I go to the move tool, I'm, look closely, there's a little scissor. Look at what'll happen. Well, it's happening to, uh, let me undo, let me go to her face and you can see what'll happen. See, it cuts out her eye. I'm going to Command Z to undo, go back to a selection tool and get the selection move tool move this over here. Now I'm going to go to select, load selection, right rim, and most important operation, add to selection. It's going to add the right rim, and now I've got both rims. I'm going to get a new layer by going to the bottom of my layer panel. The icon next to the trash can will create a new empty layer. I'm going to title it Rims. And then I'm going to go to Edit, Fill. And I want to make the rims red. So I'm going to go to Color. It brings my color picker up. And I'm going to go OK. Oh, I don't want to do Fill yet. Cancel, oops, edit stroke. I want the rims red. So I'm gonna to go to color, get red. Three pixels is fine and centered is fine. So now I'm going to make the rims on their own layer. There they are, red rims. I'm going to go to select, deselect or command D, control D on the PC. Now I want to make the inside of the glass. So I'm going to get the magic wand, select the inside there, hold the shift key so that I can select both and add to selection. I've got the inside of the rims, new layer, glass. There we go. There are the glasses. I'm going to now go to edit fill. I'm going to go to color. And I'm going to give her rose-colored glasses. There we go. Very similar to her rims. And I'm going to fill OK. Now what I need to do, I can deselect. I'm going to go to the opacity slider up here in my layers panel. And I'm going to take it down so she can see through her glasses. Then I'm going to make yet another new layer, and I'm going to make it the rest of the glasses, rest of 
glasses. And I am going to get a paintbrush. I've got the red in my foreground color. I need a very small paintbrush. And I'm going to put the little thing over her nose and back over here. So now she's got her glasses on. Now let's move on to part two.